Welcome to another A and B horror movies. I am Ben, and I'm Aaron. And in this video, we are going to be talking about June physical releases because we are all about physical media, as you can tell. A little bit, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a little bit. This will be fun. I'm excited. The collection going on, but um, yeah. And then at the end, we can say if we're going to buy each one or not, or Go if we it. have already. All right, cool. Kick it off. <laughs> Founders Day, which I just spoke to you about, I haven't seen yet. Uh, June fourth, a small town is shaken by a series of ominous killings in the day leading up to the heated Memorial Day. I haven't seen this. I take it from what I've seen, it's another mask slasher movie. Yes, he he uses a gavel to kill his victims. I I don't. This sounds very original. I don't think there's many mask <laughs> slashers out there, is there? <laughs> no, 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 not that so many. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I yeah. joke. I liked it. Um, I did see it in the theater. It's it's pretty good. The guy's like a judge, and um, the killer is like a judge, and some cool twists. You know, I thought yeah. I had figured it out, but then there were a couple twists that were added on that I didn't yeah. see coming. And no, I like, I'm gonna I like it tonight and let you know. Um, Please do. What, what was the other one? Elo Roth. Is it kind of like that? I'm drawing uh, a blank. Um, ah, Thanksgiving, that was, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. A little different. This one was more like kind of politically themed, I guess. I don't, okay. I don't know. Uh, let's see, over to me. The Lawnmower Man collection is coming from 101 Films. Um, I don't know, Stephen King, maybe not the best films ever, but the uh, uh, the CGI or the computer graphics are pretty bad. Um you know okay, I, I gotta say, it's based on a St Stephen King short story, uh, but it has nothing to do with the real short story. So, real go ahead. I don't know. I just never liked this film, and the CGI face in it just reminds me of that big white face what was in Power Power Rangers. Oh yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I like I like a Max Headroom bad version of it. No, I wasn't a fan of these films. I'd say that. Films I've only ever seen the first one and I wasn't it's Pierce Brosnan, right? Is it? I don't even remember. Maybe I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Well, anyway, there's a set coming out from one on one films. <laughs> if, if you're, you're interested, interested, add it to your list. Mowing grass, get it. Um, yes. Oh, Godzilla X Kong will take it. This is mm -hmm. isn't it? Oh, yeah, maybe now, it's a typo. This is June 11th. Uh, I'm not going to read that because I've seen the film, so I'll just explain. Uh, basically, there is a clash between all the Titans, um, and there is like whatever it is in the middle of the earth called I'm not explaining this very good, but no, nope, keep going. I haven't seen like, Kong's ancestors still alive, and yeah, they're gonna fight, and there's big monkeys fighting and big lizards, and that is. The best thing I can tell you, because it is a very cheesy story and a cheesy film, but the effects are amazing. And I would say, watch it because it was a lot better than what I thought. So I, that I think you uh, <laughs> summed it up perfectly. I'm going to check it out. My copy's what in the mail. Right? I'm going to see uh, Godzilla and Clash that. in an epic battle as humans unravel and in the time. Nah, I love that. I don't know. You did a better. <laughs> you did a better job. All right, I'm very excited about this next one. Um, Mute Witness from June 11th. It's coming out June 11th um, from Arrow Video. I pre-ordered mine as soon as I could. As you know, it's one of my top ten favorite movies. I can't I wait to watch it in 4K. It. What's that? I think you said to me about this. I may have mentioned it before. Yeah, yeah. It's. Uh, I can't wait to watch it in 4K. I don't know what can I say. As one of the best chase scenes in a movie um oh my god and look <laughs> i'm using the tumblr because i love this movie ah. uh 4k arrow video a friend of mine got his already in the mail i don't know how um but i'm waiting waiting anxiously for mine cool i'll leave it at that yeah i, I, I won't even read the summary sure. there's a mute yeah. makeup artist in it and she witnesses a horrible crime and gets pretty crazy from there on Cool. Check it out. Species 2, 4K from Screen Factory. Uh, I didn't mind this. Just another. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, you, you, you back. Yeah. 
Yeah, I knew he brought the box set the other day. Is it 101 videos or something? 101 films, maybe. I don't know. Do they have a box set out? Hmm. We're supposed to be that. physical media connoisseurs. I think we're failing a little bit. Um, I think there's a box set <laughs> somewhere. Isn't there? Let yeah, us know in the probably, comments. Probably. Yes, exactly. Uh, over to me, Immaculate. Um, I still haven't seen this. It's coming out, a physical release on June 11th. I don't know, Cecilia, let me just read it. Cecilia is welcome to an illustrious convent, but soon realizes her new home harbors dark and horrifying secrets. Dun, dun, dun. I've heard, you know, I've heard mixed reviews. Some people love it. Some are just okay with it. Um, I don't know. I'll check it out. I haven't ordered a copy, but maybe I will. Two seconds. Doors open. I know that's going to bang. <gasps> oh, my gosh. We should have, like, interim music to insert now too bad my pets aren't around i could show them <laughs> i just know the windows would break if that slammed and then i'd be very oh, upset yes that would be bad because then i'd have spiders in there and hopefully uh hopefully no one those. opened the door i would say what is it don't answer the door Mm -hmm. So is it the spiders I've said lately? It's probably a spider that opened the door. <laughs> probably. Uh, and speaking yeah. of spiders, we have to do a, a video talking about infested. Yeah. Hey. Who's okay. the other one? Uh, yeah, we will. Uh, sting. sting. Sting, yes. Okay, back to our list. I think it's over to oh, you. Yeah. Is it me? Oh, uh, stop motion. Mm. Oh, I've seen the trailer for this one. June 11th, a stop motion animator struggles to control her demons after the loss of her overbearing mother i've seen this trailer for this i think yeah it looks good um some folks i've seen people talking about it um i haven't seen it though but it looks good back to me yeah back to you um case of the bloody iris in 4k from 1972 i gotta admit i've never seen this italian horror um but it sounds good Having recently escaped the clutches of a hippie sex cult, a beautiful model is pursued by a serial killer. Case of the Bloody Iris. Case of the Bloody Iris. Uh, what's the next one? The Sacrament from the Second Sight <laughs> Films, June the 17th. A news team travels to Eden Parish and soon... Is, is that Parish? Yeah. Yeah, Parish, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you meant Paris or Paris. So. I've... <laughs> Correct. Uh, oh, discover, discovers this paradox may not be as it seems. I believe I haven't. I oh, don't know. Maybe I've heard it's, of it. Yeah, I mean, it's like a. It's Eli Roth, I believe. Um, I think I could be wrong. It's a uh, like a the cult movie. It's based on like the Jonestown murders. Um, okay. Cool. You know, like drink the Kool Aid kind of thing, um, but it's like in a found footage style. It's a good film. I like it. I'll have a look. I'll have a look. Okay. All right. Cool. Um, I have no idea how to say this. Gone Jima, Haunted Asylum, also from Second Sight Films. I did pre order this. Um, the crew of a horror web se series travels to an abandoned asylum for a live broadcast. What can go wrong? There you have it. Well, there you have it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> June the 18th, Robocop 2. Classic. Absolute classic. I like that one too. One of my favorite films. And in 4K, so I'll probably get that one. And uh, one of the best lines ever. When he says, uh, well, I think, I always remember. Mm. We always used to go to each other when I was young, behave yourselves when they're fighting. So somebody <laughs> started messing about, we used to shout at each other. <laughs> That's awesome. The things you remember. The things you remember, <laughs> yeah. Um... All right, we've got Blue Velvet next in 4K. David Lynch classic. Um, things are very wrong in this town, as you soon begin to realize. Yeah, I've not seen it. I've never seen it? Oh, it's good. Uh, is it got the song in? Is there a song Blue Velvet? There is. I, think, um, I don't... Yeah, I think she sings the song in the movie. I have to watch yeah. it. I have to watch it Sorry. again. Great film, though. Um, like I said, David Lynch. It's a strange one, but it's good. Cool. Ghostbusters, Frozen Empire. I uh, still haven't watched this. I want to. Mm -hmm. um, as it's got 
Dan Croyd and Bill Murray and Ernie Hudson. No, is it Ernie Hudson? I think so. Yeah, that's right. Yep, I knew I was right. Yep, yeah, yeah, I haven't seen it yet great. either. The reviews were not very kind. Well, but um, I'm just going to go with my own now because I've seen some films that's had great reviews, and I thought they were. Yeah. No, it yep. Work. yep. Well, wasn't it The Shining that got terrible reviews when it came out? Um, okay, yeah. back to me. Yeah. Brooklyn 45, it's a shutter film. A few military veterans get together right after World War II. And some of the ghosts from their past uh, are resurfaced. It's, it's a pretty good movie. Um, it's all set in, like, in one room, so it kind of feels like you're watching a play in a way, if, if that makes sense. Um but it's a great cast and it's it's kind of fun. Kind of fun. So the uh, next one, Ben, you're gonna recognize this because we talked about it in our, we talked in, about that. We did, yes. I well I noticed acid head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And but so not only is it streaming, it's coming out on a physical release this month. I think yeah. this month. I think it is who is it? Vinegar syndrome. I can't wait to watch Acid Head. Same. I'm going to go Google that. Once I've I, done this, I'm going to Google it. And I hope the music's good, if, if they're a rock band. Um, oh, yeah. A rowdy rock group. So, yes. Uh, let's see. The Old Ones also coming out on Vinegar Syndrome. I think this is an H.P. Lovecraft story. I don't really know much about it. There's a sea captain who gets possessed by uh, an ancient entity and kills a bunch of people for 93 years. And now he's seeking to travel back in time to undo his dark deeds. But I guess the cult who made him kill all those people don't want him to do that. So sounds oh, very complex, but yeah, I'll check it out too. The old ones, uh, also from Vinegar Syndrome. Cool. Invasion of the Body Snatchers, nineteen fifty three. From is this Kino Lober? Yeah, Kino Lober. Yep. Yep. June the twenty fifth. That is out. A mm -hmm. classic. Yeah, I love that one too. That's good. Actually, it's got a scary film if you think about it. Yeah. I'm sure it terrified people at the time. Yep. Yeah. All right. Keep moving. Uh, we got Amsterdam. My eyes itchy. We got a special edition from Blue Underground coming out June 25th. You're going to kill like... me of sadness. Oh, my gosh. I like this film. Okay. I got to admit, the first time I saw it was like two years ago. Um, <laughs> but I do like it. Uh, set, obviously, in Amsterdam. There's a killer in the canals. Um, but they, then it gets kind of crazy as the movie goes on um it's one to watch i'd say and if you're into physical media check out the release from kino lorber coming out later this month uh we have danza macabre i take it i said that right uh volume so. three the spanish gothic collection from i'm trying to break my neck now look at this i'm gonna have to get a uh Mag I've had like magnifying glass. Oh, Mag a monocle. <laughs> a a monocle. Okay, wow. Well, eh? <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, uh, a gothic collection from Sovereign includes Necro. What's that saying? Necro. Necrophagus. Phagus. Never heard that. Ever heard that word before? Cake. <laughs> Cake of blood. Love these titles. Of the devil <laughs> and the night of the Walking Dead. I like, the title, I like the title of that one. Cake of Blood, that sounds good. They have to be good, right? Um, yeah. I, I got to look into what was in volumes one and two, if this is volume three. I've never heard of them. I haven't either. I'm still trying to process Cake of Blood. Yeah. I'm, how, would, I'm just, how would that I'm even? Actually, I'm actually thinking about getting a monocle. <laughs> <laughs> Chain down there. And an no, iPad, get an it. iPad and a monocle, then you'd be yeah. set. You'd be set. <laughs> All right, last one Hunt Her, Kill Her for Massacre Video. Um, I have seen the trailer, I haven't seen the movie, but it looks kind of fun. A janitor in a furnace factory, furniture factory, finds herself in a fight for her life when she becomes the target of masked intruders. So, cat and mouse kind of chase thriller. More masked intruders. Yeah, I know. There's, I think we've stumbled upon a theme. Love a mask. Mm. Maybe we could do a mask video. Maybe for Halloween. Yeah. 
Let us know in the comments if you'd like us to do a mask video. Like the, the not a mask, but a mask. Silly TV shows. Yeah. TV show. Um, and since we're doing a, this is all about physical media. Um, I've got to show you. I've got the nail gun massacre. Um, this again. I've not seen it. You've got to see it. It's so good. On um, uh, so bad. We do a horror channel, and there's one. He's 4K horror. edition. Um, so, so oh, and the shirt. Cool. And let's see. What was I going to say? So I know a lot of people were kind of on the fence about getting this because it's sort of a grainy, fun film. But when I saw they they did a little promo video, um, Terror Vision showing okay. what they did to sort of enhance the film. So not only did they enhance the picture, I mean, it's a square picture. It's not widescreen because it's, it's an old yeah. film. Um, they expanded it from top to bottom. So it's even a little bit wider and more on the top. So you actually see more on the edges that you didn't see in the original cut. And that's what, that's what made me really want to get it and watch it in 4K. Anyway, it's, it's, I don't know. It's like, uh, there's a few films out there that's still like that, and they're still good. Yeah, kind of uh, makes me uh, sort of remember when you used to watch it on the old square TVs. Yeah, it takes you back in a way, right? They've I got was some the VHS the other day, and it. Uh... Yeah, cool. Done with a monocle then. I couldn't see anything. <laughs> I couldn't see anything. Well, you're sitting right in front of the TV, but I got to read some of these things to you first of all. Um, it's cheaper than a chainsaw. Which I don't know—is that true? Are nail guns cheaper? Um, a very, a very penetrating story, and a story that will pierce your skull and puncture your sanity. How's that for it? Some really clever oh. writing. And look, there's nails in the back. Okay. Yeah. Sold. A, you sold another to me. It's a fun. I'll, I'll look at this. Um, who was the director? Before we go. Oh, trivia! This is changing the uh, the thing completely. Yeah, go. Uh, I don't know if I sent you the post earlier. I could have. I might not have. No. Well, my the anticipation's a... killing me. Well, it was for the new Exorcist. I can't remember now. Oh, the guy who did the Halloween movies too. Green. Uh, no, not green. Oh man. Right, hang on, I'm going to Google it on this miniature super. Oh, my Halloweens are over there. Right, I'll look it up. No, too. no, you said, you said it was... Uh, uh, oh, then I'm losing my words. I know. Yeah, it's David Gordon Green. It is green. Yeah, he done the new one, but I mean, he's got fired from the others and there was someone else to take it over. And I can't remember who it was now. Oh, yeah, I don't know who's doing the new one. Um Let's have a look. It's got to be on the news. Here we go. Mike Flanagan. Oh, yeah. Right. Cool. Uh, this, he said he's going to direct a radical take on it. Cool. What does radical mean? I'm not, I'm not liking the sound of that. I don't what know. does radical mean? I don't know. But I'm intrigued. Um, He's very talented. He did the House of the Usher, uh, the new House of Usher TV show. Um, he did the, um, oh my God, what was it called? Hell House, that TV show. He did that. Yeah, and it's all the net Netflix things. The House yeah, yeah. of Usher is pretty good, actually. The Fall of House of Usher, is that right? I think so. it, uh, and then wasn't the there Hell House? I... The word radical scares me more than the actual last exorcism film did well the bar is not very high so well yeah 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 um <laughs> i just want to share that take some risks in that and hmm. let us know in the comments what you think about cool him. yeah i don't think i knew he was taking over that's that's awesome that's only what i just read so yeah i'm excited about it um all right cool well that was our june video on what's coming out physical media if you're interested in getting any of these, let us know. And as we buy some of them ourselves, I'm sure you'll see and hear about them in future videos. I buy some of them. Aaron buys all of them. <laughs> hey, I don't know. I, I might not get. Uh, I don't know. There are a few there I might not get. 
I'm telling. I'll go again. I'm going to maybe go maybe I'll get all of them. I don't know. I'm going to go and Google acid head after this. I bet you it comes out with something completely different. But I'll have a look. Well, as soon as we sign off, I'm going to go order the Houseboat Horror movie because yeah. that sounds like a lot of fun. I'm going to look at the trailer. Mm. Cool. All right, over to you, man. Close it yeah. out. Uh, cheers for watching. Uh, thanks if you subscribed or are subscribing. Hit the like and subscribe and. Again, thank you for watching. And thank you to everybody that always watches. Bye, everyone. Bye.